Hello, I'm Pam Cole from Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. I'll be explaining how to show compliance to residential buildings using Department of Energy's Building Energy Codes program software called ResCheck for the state of New York. Let's start with the basic functionalities of ResCheck. When you open the software, the first thing that you want to make sure of is that you're on the proper code. Uh, for the New York State code, it's actually a very specific in this software and it is driven by clicking on the code menu which is at the top of the program and choosing New York as the actual code option. Once you do that, it's going to ask you for that it's, that it's changed the actual location, but it'll ask you for what location are you looking at. And New York's code is actually based on county instead of city. So the very top of the program, you'll see a green bar or a blue bar, whatever it might be on your, on your computer. And it'll say untitled.rck. What does that mean? The untitled.rck is a file extension, and right now I don't have a data file open. Therefore, the title here is untitled. But if you were to open up a data file, then it would have the name there and then the extension, which is that .rck. The next thing that you'll see is ResCheck and then the version number of the software. After that, it's actually the code. So every time that you go into the software, if you're doing other locations besides working in New York, you want to make sure that you're on the proper code. And this one we have chosen, 2010 New York Energy Conservation Construction Code, so now we can begin. So let's take a look at the menu drop-down options in ResCheck. We'll start off with the file drop-down menu. You have the option to start a new actual file, open a file, open a recent existing data file, save a data file that you've already started in the software, and save as. Let's take a look at save as because there's a new feature that we have in ResCheck where you have two options on how you save your data file. You can save it as it always has been as it, with a .rck extension, but what we've added is a new feature. It's an XML inoperability feature where you could save it as an XML file and this feature um, at saving this data file will give you the opportunity opening the door for web service providers to submit XML formatted data to the energycodes.gov energy compliance determination web services. So this is a completely new inoperability that we have available in the software. What else is in the drop down menu is you can go to view and print your report. So we'll take a look at, it gives you options of that you can choose from what you want to view and print, the compliance certificate, the inspection checklist, and the panel certificate. You can also go save the report. Now the difference between saving the report and clicking on save or save as is when you go to save the report, this is saving it as either a PDF or an RTF. The difference between an RTF and a PDF is that the RTF also gives another functionality that gives the ability for certain CAD users to import that RTF file into a CAD software application and print from their drawings with the compliance report on their drawings. There's more information available out some of these features that we have that are on energycodes.gov in the software user's manual. The next item in the drop down is to email the report. And when we go into looking at an actual data file, I'll show you how this functionality works a little bit differently, but you can go to email your report and again you get the option to choose from what, what you want to email down to that building department or jurisdiction. And that could be the compliance certificate, the inspection checklist, and or the panel certificate. I highly recommend that you always send the compliance and inspection checklist to the building department. Maybe the panel certificate is something that you don't want to send into them. If it's a contractor that's responsible, this is something that they'll probably want to print themselves because they're the ones that are going to need to make sure that that is posted at or near on the electrical panel that shows all the features of the building, the insulation and fenestration and so forth. And then you can exit the program. The last thing that's in that file drop down is to exit out of the program. You can also exit out of the program up in the right hand side with, with at the very top of the X that's over there that says close.